Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great and wherever you are, you're healthy, happy and positive. My name is Shaheen and today we want to learn about probability. What is probability? Probability is the likelihood or chance of something happening. Probability only makes sense when you have an event or something that could have different outcomes. Uh, for example, weather. Weather could be sunny, it could be rainy or it could be snowy. Another example uh, of an event could be rolling a die. When you roll a die, you could get any number between 1 to 6. Or uh, flipping a coin. When you flip a coin, you can get uh, the, the, the head side over or the tail side. Now, when you have a different outcome of an event, um, most of the time people would like to know what are the chances of each uh, possible outcome. For example, you might be interested to know what is the chance of raining tomorrow? What is the chance of getting a 6 when you roll a die? Let's say you want to play a game and you want to know what are your chances to get different numbers. How can we calculate those things? Let's just start with the weather. When you're looking at the weather and a different possible outcome, uh, it would be very difficult for us to right away come up with a solution of what are the chances. Uh, I can really not answer the question of what is the chance of being uh, having a rainy day tomorrow. Um, or if I roll a die, um, it may be difficult to understand or calculate the possibility or the chance of getting a number. Uh, however, sometimes the chances and probabilities are easy. For example, flipping a coin. If you flip a coin, there's a 50-50 chance. Why is that easy? Because there's only two options. And in your head, you automatically calculate that because there are two options and I want to know what the possibility of one of them, so it would be one out of the two or 50% chance. But how can we do that or how can we drive this um, method to find a solution for all the probabilities in the world? Let's do an example together. Let's say you have a box. Okay, I'm going to draw a box here. Inside that box, you have three apples. One of the apples are green, and two apples are red. Okay, now. Uh, we already know that there are three apples in the box and we want to pick one apple from the box without looking inside. So we cannot see the colors and we cannot see the uh, inside of the box when we want to pick one apple. We know that that apple is either going to be green or red. It can't be any other color. Or, in other words, the probability of having any other color is zero. The probability or chance of picking a yellow apple from this box is zero. But there is a some, uh, some chance of picking up a green apple and there is some chance of picking up a red apple and let's calculate that together. When you want to calculate the chance or probability of an event, this is how we do it. First, you calculate the total number of possibilities or total number of apples. So we have three apples. In total. Okay. Now, out of these three apples, one of them are, is green. So one, green apple, and we have two red apples. Okay, now we want to calculate what is the chance or probability of picking up an apple from the box without looking at the colors and find the chance and the probability of that apple being green. So how do we do it? I'm going to write here the probability, calculating the probability of having a green apple. This is how we do it. How many green apples do we have? One. How many total number of apples do we have? Three. So the chance or the likelihood of having a green apple is one 
over the total. Remember, it's always what you want over the total numbers. So one green apple divided by all three apples. It's almost like saying, what are the chances of getting an apple which is green? It's one versus all. So it's one over three. Or you can say one divided by three, which is going to be 0 0.33 or 33%. Uh, Okay, let's calculate the possibility or the chance of having a red apple. Red apple. How many red apples do we have? Two red apples. So obviously the chance of uh, having a red apple is going to be higher than the chance of a green apple. So how many red apples do I have? Two red apples versus all the three apples. So I'm interested to calculate the chance or the possibility of two red apples over the total, which is going to be equal to two divided by three equal to 0 0.66. You can calculate that with your calculator. Also press the percentage and it will give you 66%. This means the percentage or the probability of having a red apple is twice as much as the probability of an green apple. We should always remember that probability only talks about the chance and the likelihood. It never guarantees anything. Even though that uh, the, the probability of red apples are higher than green apple, you may pick an apple and it's green. It never guarantees anything. It only gives you an idea and the pro probability and likelihood of something happening. I hope you learned about probability today. Let me know if you have any questions on the comments and see you next time.